Hello, in this session I will talk about implicit and explicit join syntax. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. So far we have taken a look at cross joints and inner joints. Before we go towards outer joints, we need to revisit the SQL that we have created for cross joints and inner joints. Here I am connected to SAP HANA Studio. So let's open up an SQL editor, right click on tables and select SQL editor. So let me write an SQL for a cross join. So let's select all the columns from the two tables student and team. Let's see what happens. Execute this statement. So this is what we're expecting a Cartesian product or cross join. Let's take a look at the SQL that I created for this cross join. So this is 100% correct SQL but this method of writing is called implicit. There is another way you can write the same logic and that method is called explicit. So let me write the explicit method in this bottom portion so that you can compare the two. Both SQL will achieve the same purpose. Here we are explicitly telling the system we want to do a cross join of a student table with the team table and here we are simply specifying both the table names in the from clause and system will assume that we are doing the cross join. So if I select this second statement and execute that part, so keep in mind only the selected portion is executed, I get the same result. We need to learn the explicit method before we go to the outer join because you write outer join in explicit syntax. So this is how you can write an SQL for cross join and now let me show you how you can write inner joins in both implicit and explicit syntax. So let me first convert the first SQL into the inner join by adding a where clause. So where, let me just add aliases to both the tables, so where a dot team ID equal to b dot ID and if I run the top portion this will give me an inner join of the two tables. Okay, so now let's go back to the SQL tab. Now how would I write the inner join in explicit syntax? So let me create a space between the two SQL and let me write here the same inner join that I'm achieving from the top SQL in an explicit syntax. So I'm selecting all the columns from student table and now here I will mention explicitly that I want inner join of a student table with team but this is not enough you are specifying the inner join but you also need to tell the system on which column because inner join has a link. So on keyword is used to specify the link between the two tables so without aliases this is how it will look like student.teamid equal to team.id so team id column of a student table is equal to the id column of the team table. So both the syntaxes are 100% correct and both will give you the same result. However, in this one you are implicitly doing an inner join simply using your where clause to restrict the rows of the Cartesian product and here you are explicitly doing the inner join. If I run this bottom statement it should give me the same result. So in this session you have seen explicit syntax for creating cross and inner joins and now we'll move on to outer joins and these explicit syntax will help us because outer join is written in a similar fashion 